much for coming. Good afternoon and welcome to a Blue Ribbon Signature Day in Bloomington. As we begin, I want to start with an acknowledgement. We recognize that the city of Bloomington sits on native land. This city is on the traditional homelands of the Miami, Delaware, Potawatomi, and Shawnee people. And we acknowledge they are past, present, and future caretakers of this land. We also acknowledge that much of the economic progress and development in Bloomington and Indiana resulted from the unpaid labor and forced servitude of people of color, specifically enslaved African labor. We acknowledge that this land remains home to and a site of gathering and healing for many indigenous and other people of color, and we commit to the work necessary to create and promote a more equitable and just Bloomington. Thank you. We are here today to celebrate a new beginning, a new chapter, a new path for Bloomington. It's been years in the making, and it's very exciting that on October 6, 2022, we are celebrating the physical work launch to build a citywide, open access, ubiquitous fiber network for our community. Now, there are a lot of people you're going to hear from. I want to make three points with some appreciation. First, thank you to Meridium and Hoosier Networks and the construction partner AEG for their vision and commitment to this groundbreaking fiber network. Since 2016, we have been seeking partners for this project. We were focused on making sure it was ubiquitous, that it covered the city, that we did not leave neighborhoods behind, that we didn't have cherry picking going on, which is what we've mostly seen. We were committed to try to find a partner who would think about fiber as infrastructure, open access to others to use, to multiple, like our roads, to make our fiber network infrastructure and net neutrality and equity, and we'll talk about that more. This is so critical to Bloomington's future. We know how important it is to our economy, the future of our economy, to our education, the access people have daily, regularly, to, act, to education, to jobs, to health care, to the quality of life, to the future. We know how important this is to our future. In many ways, and as we've talked about this, this is the electricity of the 21st century. It is that fundamental and that important. We're excited about the investment, $50 million, and the construction which is ready to begin, as I'm told, even tomorrow. We are proud to be a partner as well with Columbus and Shelbyville, uh, other cities in Indiana that may grow uh, this thing. It took vision, it took an awareness of risk, it took courage, it took commitment to come to this community, and we are very, very proud and pleased that you have done so. Second, I want to thank Gigabit Now for coming to Bloomington as a new partner here in the city, as a partner in this project. Gigabit Now, West Coast based, is the first leading internet service provider entering this market, bringing competition. They are delivering the access that is so essential to all of our Bloomingtonians. They are making it real for all of us. High speed, best in class connectivity, and we are so pleased to welcome you to Bloomington uh, and welcome your competition. You're bringing choices, you're bringing net neutrality, your experience. We are just delighted and, and welcome you to town too. You'll hear from Stephen shortly. And third, I want to thank you all, Meridium, Hoosier Networks, AEG, Gigabit Now, for the extraordinary digital equity program on which we are collaborating. As far as we know, it is the best digital equity program in the country. I will note, historically, some of the best things that have happened in our country, happen in our community, happen when we assure equity and access to critical services. Think about that electricity and what that meant to our country making it accessible to everyone. Think about public water and sanitation and how fundamental it is to commit that everyone needs access to that. Think about public education 
and what that means to commit to that for everybody. That is what this is like. It's digital access. It's a public good. It's a public necessity. And without it, no family, no kids, no elderly can have the full access to their lives that we want them to have, that we all want. Access means opportunity, and access depends upon affordability. Bloomington has already been recognized nationally as a, quote, digital equity trailblazer. I'm just quoting that. Somebody said that, so we got, we got noted, noted to that. Reflecting our survey work and our grants programs, among other things, but we are especially proud of the groundbreaking joint digital equity initiative that Hoosier Networks and Gigabit Now will be executing with city support. In this plan, again, we believe unmatched in United States markets, the digital equity initiative will provide low-income households with real high-speed broadband options. No less than 250 megabit speed per second upload and download speeds, essentially at zero cost when paired with the Biden-Harris administration's affordable connectivity program, the broadband subsidy. Eligibility here in Bloomington for this program will be broad and income-based. Again, the fiber network is meant to reach virtually every household in the city. Any household with existing federal or state benefits like SNAP, food stamps, school free and reduced lunch, HUD housing ventures, vouchers, and more are automatically eligible with no sign-up fee. The city itself is contributing $1 million toward fiber drops to these households and matching contributions from our private sector partners here. The city's and Meridium's digital equity program also commits Hoosier Networks to employ a digital equity staff member to ensure the success of the program in their markets and contributing annually to the city to help our efforts, including more digital equity grants and a new part-time digital equity specialist and navigator in the city's ITS departments. All of these elements together address much of what's in the city's digital equity strategic plan. And we're looking forward to building on that success in partnership with, with you all. These are three really important transformative steps we're commencing today for Bloomington. Lives will be changed. Lives will be changed. Futures will be brighter. Our community will be stronger. So thank you all to Meridium, Hoosier Fiber Networks, AEG, and Gigabit Now. Uh, I also want to thank, uh, there are too many, but our steering committee, we had an advisory group that met with us for five years, uh, some of whom are here who helped with that. We have the Digital Underground Advisory Commission. I appreciate your guidance through the years. City staff. If you're a city staff member, raise your hand. I know we got Alex, we got New D, Kaisa. Uh, who's that back there? Great, great, good to see you, Greg. Andrew, uh, Rick Dietz is somewhere here, and Deputy Mayor Don Griffin and Rick Dietz, the director of ITS, has shepherded this project for, for six years now. So I really appreciate it. It's a great day. So my next job is really to move this along. I'm introducing Nicholas Rubio. Nicholas is the CEO of North America for the international company Meridium. We're very glad to have you here in town. Nicholas has decades of infrastructure experience. I do understand in 2010, he was named the Entrepreneur of the Year by the American Road and Transportation Builders Association. And Nicholas, we're very pleased to have you here. The microphone's yours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Major. It is a pleasure being here today with you all. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you as well to the city staff for everything you have been doing and, and for being here. Uh, I think this has been a hard work, the one you have championed. Uh, and uh, this is going to be significant in tackling the digital divide among uh, Bloomington's residents. Uh, your leadership has been crucial to developing the Central Indiana Fiber Broadband Network. Uh, and it will help us. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to repeat everything you have said, but I echo it. Uh, it's going to help expand broadband access to, to residents in Bloomington and, and, and beyond Bloomington uh, to additional local Indiana communities. I would also like to echo you in uh, uh, acknowledging AEG, our civil contractor, and Gigabit Now, 
our internet service provider uh, for partnering with us in this project. They bring today more than 40 years of experience together. Uh, that is a guarantee uh, that their experience is going to uh, ensure the uh, delivery of this project and, and sustain its uh, core goals, not, not just today, but for three years to come. As you can see, this uh, project was made possible by this crucial uh, partnership represented here today. In our experience, strong partnerships that combine public sector planning with private sector capital, innovation and execution consistently deliver major projects more efficiently and in a fraction of the usual time and cost. As uh, Major Hamilton has mentioned, uh, we recognize that there is a significant broadband gap in these communities, especially for, for residents in underserved communities. Uh, we firmly believe that investing in better, faster digital connectivity will help fuel competition and fostering economic, educational and entrepreneurial opportunities more broadly across the community and support the digital, the digital needs of all Bloomingtonians into the future. Working together with our partners, we commit to helping close to close that gap and improve digital equity. As our construction crews move forward in the months to come, uh, creating and developing state-of-the-art fiber networks, we will do our best to minimize disruptions. There will be disruptions, but we will do our best to minimize them to neighbors, preserve the environment, and protect the health and safety of the public and our employees. Uh, this is a must for us. Bill Abstone, who will speak after me, and his team will be actively engaged and take care to prioritize safety and uphold close dialogue as we carry this project on. In summary, two key messages. We are grateful to be partnered to Bloomington. Uh, in its uh, game-changing efforts to bring fiber broadband networks to the citizens of, of uh, Bloomington and uh, we will do our best to deliver this project successfully and provide as soon as possible the best fiber service. Thank you and I, I'd like to welcome now Bill Abston. Bill will be the CEO of Hoosier Networks who's going to be here with you and I would like you to, to share some remarks. Thank you. Nicholas. As Nicholas Rubio mentioned, my name is Bill Aston. I'm the CEO of Hoosier Networks. I'm excited to lead this highly experienced and extremely motivated team, and I'm looking forward to working with our city and our partners to make sure this project is a success. I believe internet access is a local game, which is why we partner with companies that share the local focus. Gigabit Now has more than 25 years experience providing local service, and AG has been building local networks for over 20 years. Hoosier Networks will begin construction this week in areas just south of the Indiana University campus, and will continue placing fiber throughout the community with a plan of provi providing fiber services to all residents over the next three years. This includes pulling fiber through the low-income communities and then partnering with the city to ensure fiber connectivity to these low-income units. Based on our current construction schedule, we expect complete construction no later than the first quarter of 2025. Again, I'd like to reiterate Nicholas' remark on the Hoosier Network's commitment to safety, both for our team and the community. I look forward to working with the city and our partners to make Bloomington one of the most vibrant cities in the country. Thank you very much. Next will be James Salter of AG.
Hello, I'm James Salter with the company AEG. We're going to design and build this network. Uh, I guess my message, my main message is we're going to try to work safely. We're going to try to hire locally uh, and we're going to try not to tear up your yard. But really what I want to uh, talk about is because we do this all over the country is how rare this is. You know, we're having this press conference and we really should be having a press conference because what's happening here is really rare. There's about 500 cities in America that are similar size to Bloomington, 50 to 100,000 people. And, and we believe this is the 29th city of those 500 that's built a fiber network and none of them have built it throughout the city where they were including everybody, ubiquitous. So, and, and, and finally, almost all of those cities that have done it to date have done it by risking the people's money. Uh, they, they've decided to use governmental funds to build a network to compete and bring competition. And, and uh, I just want to commend the leadership, the mayor and the leadership of this town for making it happen the way that you have. It could, couldn't, couldn't have happened for the citizens in a better way. Final thing I want to say is about the technology that we're building here. Uh, so, you know, if you think about it, the internet's 30 years old, and for those of us old enough, 30 years ago, we'd take a phone, put the, put the modem down, and we would get uh, like 8K of bandwidth. And what we're building here is an absolute minimum of a, a gigabit, both ways, up and down, not like the cable TV. Uh, and that's, think about it, in 30 years, that's a 125,000-fold improvement in the technology. And that's the baseline, the fiber network that you're building here is basically like building a hundred lanes in each direction highway when you're only using three of them. So it, it is the infrastructure that you'll keep here for the next 40 years. It is the right technology. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a game changer for the community and we couldn't be more delighted to be part of it. Now I'd like to introduce the main man here, and that is Steve Milton with Gigabit Now, who's the guy you're going to actually buy the service from. Yeah. Yes, well, hello. Uh, I am uh, Steve Milton, the CEO of Gigabit Now, and uh, Gigabit Now is very excited to have been selected to be the ISP for this uh, new state-of-the-art uh, fiber network with Hoosier uh, Fiber Networks and built by AEG. Um, my partners and I started Gigabit Now. Uh, Gigabit Now's parent company, Isofusion, 30 years ago uh, in basically suburbs of Seattle, uh, literally a mile from the headquarters of uh, Microsoft. And uh, back then we were focused on connecting customers, uh, consumers, businesses with the best uh, communications technologies and information technologies. And today we continue that effort. Um, making fast and affordable internet connectivity available everywhere we can, free from arbitrary limits, uh, glitchy video, and privacy issues. Gigabit Now continues the effort of delivering internet connectivity to everyone, regardless of income or political affiliation. Everyone deserves access to fast, reliable broadband, just as much as water and electricity, as the mayor said. My entire organization is committed to the communities we serve and their ongoing fight for equality, especially digital equality. Gigabit Now developed equity programs for some of our internet networks as early as the 2000s, and so digital equity is not a new concept for, for my teams. The mayor and his team have been a driving force in digital equity initiatives in Bloomington for several years, and Gigabit Now is eager to join the effort to ensure that everyone has access to the internet and everything that it offers. Uh, digitally disadvantaged subscribers will have access to more than just a basic connection. Uh, but an internet connection is fast and affordable and not just 10 or 20 megabits per second um, the way some of the providers have provided, but 250 megabits per second minimum up and download. Uh, Gigabit Now has been providing fiber to the home internet services to communities since 2004, providing internet services currently to over 10,000 residences up and down the West Coast. We are focused on the communities we serve and we embed um, employees locally within the markets. We have a US-based 24-7 customer service, uh, but we also hire within the markets, including for tech support and other remote, remote jobs as well. Because uh, who's, who's better to understand the needs of the community than the people that live there? Right now, we are looking for several uh, Gigabit Now brand ambassadors 
to uh, join our team and uh, work with the city, uh, holding events and uh, sharing information with the city's residents. Anyone interested in uh, making a difference and having a hand in Bloomington's digital future should uh, check out our jobs page at gigabitnow.com jobs. For those who are eager to order service, both residents and businesses can pre-register on our website at gigabitnow.com slash Bloomington. Once registered, we'll keep you updated on the network and when services will be available uh, in your area. We've also been known to share um, early promotions with the people that pre-register. So you'll so not only will you be helping us with planning and, and prioritization of the build, but also uh, can save some more money as well. Uh, we will announce full speeds and the associated pricing uh, as we get closer to launch, which is expected in January next year. Uh, thank you for your time, and uh, we look forward to getting better internet delivered all throughout uh, Bloomington. I'll hand it back to the mayor. Thank, thank you so much. Um, so this is a job fair, see, and it's a, a investment celebration. That's good. Uh, I, a mission, I didn't mention Andrew Seabor, our engineer, city engineer. I'm sorry when I went around the room, and Andrew's key to all this happening. Uh, and I also just mentioned, uh, we've, I, I'm, I'm told we just signed a letter of intent for some space uh, behind us here, which is, what, which is why we're standing here. Now, I know the audio can be difficult for some of you folks, so what I would suggest is if you want, and if, if they're willing, to do some questions, if you want to ask some questions or follow up, we'd be happy to do that uh, in, a, in a few minutes here, because I know it's, it's pretty tricky here to get that good audio. But um, can we walk into this thing, you think? or no, no, I don't know. Well, we'll see. Anyway. Uh, there's refreshments. Uh, it is a great day for Bloomington. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for being here. Uh, and uh, onward we go. Congratulations. Thank you.